Thank you Lenovo for sponsoring this video. Sometimes the idea behind a two-in-one sounds good on paper and the execution ends up looking like this. You get a car that can't really drive and a boat that can't really go very far. But occasionally, like stuff crust or the spork, the two-in-one works perfectly. And when I think of Lenovo Yoga, I think of the two-in-one and the Yoga 7. But before I tell you about this guy, and it does a lot, let me thank you and you and you, not you, for being awesome, good, kind human beings, supporting the channel all these years for, for the comments and the likes and the subscribes and shares, all that good stuff. Give me a chance to win 500 bucks. And I made this very easy. All you gotta do, leave a comment down below. Tell me the first thing you do with your new Yoga 7. Tell me a dad joke, a fact about yourself. Just leave a comment with your social handle or a way to contact you from your YouTube page. Give the video a thumbs up. All the information you need will be in the description down below, open to anywhere in the world. Let it run for 10 days. All right, so back to the Yoga 7 and 2-in-1. Kind of these days, the Yoga brand has expanded beyond just sort of the two-in-one sort of ethos that it started with. But the Yoga 7 stands alone as a really capable laptop, but can also do the full, that was my like, can also do the full yoga thing. Let me tell you about it. So it's hard to talk about two-in-ones without first talking about those hinges. So for years, Lenovo has been known for a really good 360 degree hinge built into the yoga line. And that's no different from the Yoga 7. And I challenge you to look at any other two-in-one out there, try this with that two-in-one. Can you one finger up that lid? Uh, those hinges on a lot of the other computers out there, the two-in-ones, are disasters. The screen is all floppy when it's uh, when it's standing there. The bends sometimes creak, and they're not durable uh, enough. Lenovo is really one of the only companies I would trust to make incredible hinges. They've been doing it for so long. And they've perfected it here with the Yoga 7. So obviously it does all the two-in-one stuff. Let's you orient the screen any way you want. So you can put it in laptop mode for typing, flip it all the way around into tablet mode. Probably my favorite for an airplane uh, is to prop up the keyboard facing down uh, and just watch a movie. And the hinge gives you full control. So you can use a computer however you want. All that stuff is good, but we've seen that before. And the idea with two-in-ones was that they did a whole bunch of things okay. And they tended to not do everything well. Uh, what Nova's done here at the Yoga 7 is take a laptop that even if the hinge didn't bend or the laptop didn't bend, you would have a really powerful, extremely capable computer. You don't have to change what you want to do because it's a two-in-one. The computer will now change what it does to suit you, and that is a gigantic deal. The hinge on this thing, though, is just the beginning. Lenovo also took the design, tried to make it as sleek and ergonomic as possible. So this is using what they're calling a comfort edge design language. Basically, this means the edges of the laptop are rounded and more comfortable to hold. It's essentially a unibody design with an anti-fingerprint, anti-smudge coating, and it looks as good as it feels. And I say anti-fingerprint because most computers out there, like you're very aware of how gross your fingers are after like an hour of using these things. Uh, ours that we've had in the studio for a couple of weeks still looks brand new and relatively smudge free. You're also not sacrificing ports even though this thing comes in uh, at just three and a half pounds. So you're getting two USB type C ports, one of which is USB 4. You also have a USB A port, HDMI 2.1, micro SD card reader. You don't have to sacrifice functionality for design. But usually in laptops that are this thin and light, there's a definite sacrifice with IO. You're lucky to get two USB type C ports uh, at all. And now you've got those, you've got a full size HDMI port, USB A, you've got all the IO that you need to build this out if you need more of a workstation, uh, but also you've got that micro SD card slot if you can throw that functionality for data storage on the go. Really the main focus of this design is obviously built around the screen. The two-in-one, first of all, it's gotta be touchscreen, but <laughs> the screen has gotta be really good. Whether you open it up to browse the web or flip it around to draw, this being done with a beautiful 14-inch display, and I've been a screen snob, I've been vocal about it, uh, it's gonna come with a 16.10 2K OLED display and obviously again, touchscreen. It's also really color accurate. It's 100% DCI-P3 coverage. Because it supports 400 nits of brightness, it can support Dolby Vision uh, when watching back movies. And also, speaking of Dolby, also supports Dolby Atmos with its two symmetrical speakers. So you've got an incredible OLED display first and foremost. And again, if this didn't fold, it would still be an incredible responsive display 
but now you get that added benefit. It is a perfect display for using in tablet mode or just watching a movie on or putting in tent mode if you want. Uh, it is a really capable display. That's usually been one of the knocks of these 2-in-1s is that the display wasn't great. That was a sacrifice that was made. I think Lenovo has heard those things from people looking for 2-in-1s and they've clearly listened uh, with a really capable Yoga 7. And above that screen, it's a bit of a hump, uh, Lenovo opted to raise the edge a bit to make sure it could fit in a 1080p IR camera, which is awesome because it supports Windows Hello. Because the fingerprint sensor also built in, you get two ways to log in securely. Usually you see one or the other. Now you've got both here. You can use facial recognition or biometrics with your finger. Inside is where the Yoga 7 2-in-1 makes itself really hard computer to beat. The process that we have here is actually the top spec. You can spec it up to the AMD Ryzen 7 8840 processor uh, with AMD Radeon graphics. This is designed to handle any multitasking task you throw at it so you can get work done or be creative without the hardware getting in the way. It is a really capable processor. And with this processor, AMD is ensuring a few things. First, the AMD is delivering performance, obviously you can count on, uh, and that'll bring you kind of the speed that you need to get that stuff done. It's also bringing AMD Ryzen AI. It's gonna utilize AI to sort of improve your overall computing experience. And this reaches far throughout the entire computing experience, from being tuned to fit really any task you need. It'll use AI-enabled features to optimize workflows and improve different apps like Windows Studio Effects. It also makes video calls significantly better. But with these AI features, you still have control over your data and privacy. So you can use these features without worry about you know, the privacy implications that sometimes come along with those. And if that kind of wasn't enough, you're also getting really great battery life. The AMD Ryzen 8040 processors has smart power management technology that is built in. It's gonna give you way better battery life. And pairing that with a really nicely sized 71 watt hour battery uh, means you can really get through a whole day Whenever you need to do plug it in, uh, it can recharge pretty quickly with Rapid Charge Express. We can give you hours of battery life in just 15 minutes. So it's, it's really not that common that there's a computer out there that does everything really well. And that computer is almost never a two-in-one because that very rarely has done everything very well. Lenovo absolutely nailed this one with the Yoga 7. If you never flip this thing around, you're gonna get an incredibly capable laptop with a ton of IO, a ton of power, beautiful screen, and battery life for days. And that alone is a reason to consider picking this up. Take all that, the fact that you can't flip it in a variety of ways, you've got a computer that becomes more than a computer. If you're in the market for tablet, you're in the market for a really capable laptop, or even in a lot of cases, a desktop potential replacement, you owe it yourself to check out the Yoga 7. Uh, if you wanna learn more about it, of course, we got a link to it down below.